Hi everyone, and welcome to Harp 101. If you've always wanted to play the harp, but just didn't know where to start, then you've come to the right place. Over the next several weeks, we'll be talking about everything from harp anatomy to basic playing techniques, and I'll be equipping you with the tools that you need to begin your journey of playing the harp. So let's get started. To begin with, let's get to know your harp. While harps can look vastly different and vary drastically in size, the majority of harps have several parts in common. There's the neck, knee block, sounding board, body, pedals, bass, column, and strings. The harp has seven pedals, each of which correspond to a particular pitch. There's the E pedal, F, G, A, and then on the left side, we have the B pedal, C, and D. The seven pedals on the harp correspond to seven metal rods that run up the column. These rods, in turn, connect to small metal discs that run along the neck of the harp. When these discs rotate, they either tighten or loosen the strings, raising them or lowering them a half pitch. The strings on a harp are color-coded, helping us find our place when we're playing. All of the red notes on a harp are C's, and all of the dark blue or black notes are F's. That's the basic anatomy of a harp. Tune in next time to see how to sit at the harp and the proper harp hand position. Until then, this is Harp 101. Thanks for joining us. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, comment below about something you'd like to learn about the harp. Maybe your topic will be the subject of my next video.